guys, you want to come in with another battle replay here for Rome 2. We have a 3v3 siege on the settlement of Carolus. Welcome back to the land of sieges, and uh, I'm going to say there's going to be a sally out. Definitely going to be the sally out, and uh, of course, Cecily is on the battlefield. We do have Anar Rocky, actually, so everybody for the defenders will be coming out here. Going to be pretty awesome, I have a feeling. Let's take a look at the attacking factions here first. Looks like Tylus might have a bit of a bad day, but Tylus is being commanded by Morgan Swoby. Sowerby? Sowerby, sorry. He is bringing with him nine units of tribal warriors, three levy freemen, two units of Osworn, one unit of Thracian warriors, four slingers. His general is a unit of the noble, calf, noble horse. Sorry. Pretty sure that's all he's got. Maybe he's got something hidden. I doubt it, though. I don't think there's any woods there. Second attacking battle, uh, second attacking army on the battlefield we do have is Carthage, who's being commanded by Big Daddy Stu. He is bringing with him six units of Libyan infantry, four Iberian swordsmen, two Samnites, one African pikemen, one Italian swordsman, three Cretan archers. He does have one unit of the Libyan peltas, one African elephants, which if they can get inside, that could be some serious, serious damage. And his general is a unit of the noble cavalry. Final attacking army on the battlefield, we do have Iceni, who's being commanded by Sturban. Sturban is bringing with him six units of the Chosen Sword Band, three Normal Sword Band, two units of the Heroic Nobles, two Druidic Nobles, one Spear Band, three units of the Britain Slingers, one Scorpion, and a Gero his general is a Heroic Rider, which, mm, this looks like it could be a problem. This definitely looks like it could be a problem. We're going to have to see, though. Let's shoot in here to the defenders. We'll start off with Arvaki or Arvashi, however you guys say it. Uh, he is being commanded by Mad Mac. He's bringing with him six units of Scutari, three guerrilla warriors, as we do see out there on the front. He also does have two units of Iberian swordsmen, two painted ones, one Iberian spearman, four units of Balearic slingers, and his general is a noble cavalry. So a lot of cavalry on the battlefield today. Second defending army, we have Misesali, who's being commanded by Rampa. Rampa is bringing with him, like we see out here, he's got seven units of the Light Infantry, three units of the Desert Legionnaires, four Slingers, four units of Numidian Riders, which are on the other side there, and his general is a unit of the Armored Numidian Riders, right there. Then the final defending army on the battlefield, we do have per Parthia, who's being commanded by Cox, K-O-K-S, Cox. <laughs> he is bringing with him, from what we can see here, from his Sally Out army, Two units of Eastern Cataphracts right behind them. Three units of the Median Cavalry. He also has his Royal Cataphract General there. He's also bringing with him three units of Mercenary Hoplites. Two Parthian Swordsmen. Two units of Elite Persian Archers. And two units of the Parthian Foot Archers. We actually are back here near the town center right there. That is the town center here. Like I said, this is the settlement of Carolus. Guys, if you guys enjoy this replay, please make sure to hit that like button. Feel free to share it around, subscribe, and of course, drop a comment down below. Let's get this one going. I'm going to shoot over onto the other side. Hopefully, I'm right in guessing that the cavalry is going to go first. Well, cavalry is moving. Looks like they... Mm, he might have lined... He might have been able to line them up in a better spot. He probably could have had them right here and just charge straight across. But anyway, he is going to start swinging around. Let's see what's going on on the other side. Is our Vatsi and... The other Mesesali troops, they are moving. So everybody is on the move as far as the sally out. Looks like everything is visible now. Yeah, everybody can be seen. Let's shoot back over onto that other side, though. It does look like, oh, cavalry coming in. This is going to be bad for Iceni. Trying to quickly run his slingers away, but they will just not be able to make it out of there. Some druidic nobles look like they're going to try and catch up. We also hear the general heroic riders, but yeah, big charge in there. In onto this unit of slingers who are now starting to lose some men, but actually the, the medium riders lost some on the charge there. But here comes another charge. Big charge onto another unit of the Britain slingers. So yeah, cavalry is kind of just running all over the place. We do have a slinger unit already routing off of the battlefield. Though they have 70, 69 men left. They may come back. This unit here, though, I think they're gonna get some good kills. Let's stick around. Oh, actually, we have another second unit pincering back around. Looks like they're going to hit the artillery group. Another big charge in onto some more of the Britain Slingers who are down to 74, and they are wavering now as well. I think that all of the Britain Slingers over here are pretty much going to get handled, though. Yeah, that unit's already shattered. 
This unit is actually pretty safe, but the artillery crew here down to 22. Second unit of the Britain Slingers over there down to 37 out of 90. As you can tell, we do have these uh, large army size, not epic, or sorry, um, ultra. There you go. That's the word I was looking for. So Masesli is going to line up a whole bunch of his guys over on this side. Tylus has completely pulled back from his attack, which is not probably going to be very good because the artillery from the wall are going to be able to get some good shots in here. Tribal Warriors down five so far. The Slingers here have lost six. So pretty good so far. They've actually chased Tylus away, which is pretty, pretty, pretty amazing. Lord Rider General over here still doing some really good work. Up to 44 kills so far, but Cecily Cavalry is still here. Don't think they've lost any units just yet. Another big charge coming in on the back from more of the Numidian Riders and on the back of the unit of Lord Nobles who were already up and entangled with some of the light infantry. Cecily is going to pull back away again, and here comes another, oh no, they're going to get on these Druidic Nobles. Oh, this is going to be huge. Oh my god. Just mauled them. Druidic Nobles have been run over, but the, yeah, decent amount of them are getting back up. Still 39 men left in the unit. Looks like they're really just trying to focus on maybe some of these heroic nobles over there. Whoa, wait. Masesli is not done. Oh my god. He's going to get over here into Tylus. No way. Going to squeak right past the back of the general there and crush into some more of these Celtic Slingers. But we do have some Osworn there. They are going to get some Javelins off, so not too bad there. But yeah, another, sl another Celtic Slinger unit down to 57 men left. Looks like they're going to start routing, which they are. Actually, the attackers are actually chasing down some of the guerrilla warriors there did Avraki use nope he's still got his other two units there as well nothing moving towards the settlement yet i don't think there's anything moving oh no carthage moved and i see he moved okay so they didn't give up they didn't stop they didn't stop they they're trying to handle the sally out back here or vanguard deployment actually because um i don't think the actual sally out has here it comes the actual sally out is now underway Three units of Median Cavalry making their way towards Tylus, who is just going to, again, keep pulling back. Let's see what's going on over on this side. Carthage and Iceni inside the settlement, not having any bit of any sort of defense over here. First defending units were going to be over here. Arvaki is going to have some of his Scutari there. Two, three, four units of Scutari there are going to be front line. Once Carthage and Iceni make it all the way over here. But let's get back out over here. I do not want to miss anything that Parthia is going to be able to do here. Are they just going to charge straight on to this unit of Osworn? Looks like that is exactly what's about to happen, and here it comes. Another big... Oh my god. A lot of those guys will more than likely get back. Whoa, nope, never mind. Second unit of the... Car oh my god, three units. All three units of the Median Cavalry will be surrounding this one unit of Tribal Warriors. Thought it was Osworn, but it's Tribal Warriors. The Osworn are still back over there. Where'd they go? There they are. Osworn are way back over there by the general. Some of the bigger boys here for Parthia are starting to swing their way around the edge. Cecily is now moving forward as well. Very good teamwork so far on the part of the defenders with this sally out and vanguard deployment. Very well done. Arvaki's guerrilla warriors down to 38 men now starting to mix it up with some of the levy freemen there But his other two units still kind of just sitting back still sitting back charge in the center here Beating cavalry charging it onto levy freeman, which might not have been the greatest idea, but Regardless with the second unit coming in another big charge they're gonna be able to break through this the yeah, levy freeman now dropping down to 75 men left in the unit and here comes the rest of the light infantry big 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 charge by some big big cavalry here Eastern Cataphracts, two units charging in onto one unit of Tribal Warriors, getting some big damage. I know I'm saying big a lot, but it's what it is, man. It's what it is. Arvaki's Guerrilla Warriors starting to lose here finally, but the Numidian Light Infantry are in there mixing it up. And look at that. Levy Freeman unit has now shattered. Got some more Tribal Warriors moving forward. The Noble Horse General has now blasted their rally ability, trying to keep his men in line, but Tylus is just getting mauled. Absolutely mauled right now. Iceni and Carthage did take a bit of damage here and there. 
think I seen he did end up losing all of his ranged. He's got one unit of slinger still there. But it does look like he's lost all the rest of them. But Tylus is just having a bad time right now. Bad, bad day. Where are the cataphracts? They are still there. Actually, even the royal cataphract general has come out here for Parthia as well. Noble horse general has come over. He's got 20 kills so far. But look at that. Even more eastern cataphracts come through. Breaking into some more of the Celtic Slingers. Looks like they got a bit of a charge on to some of these tribal warriors as well. Wow. So much going on right now. So much going on. It just exploding. This replay absolutely exploded, guys. Still hearing more cavalry rumble around over here. Parthian cavalry pulling away. Good idea because they looked like they were about to get flanked by some of these tribal warriors there. Going to pull away 49 kills so far for them. Eastern Cat uh, Royal Cataphract General here with 14 kills. Here comes the Noble Cav Ooh. Noble Horse General in onto some of these light infantry. Going to help these tribal warriors and there they go. So Sicily starting to lose some of his units. Some of them are starting to waver, starting to rout. Orvaki actually has one of his guerrilla swords over here. Ooh, pinned in by two units of tribal warriors. That is not going to go in the guerrilla warriors' favor. I believe that that is the final unit of guerrilla warriors. Parthia is still running around. I think he's actually... What is he down to? I think he's lost an Eastern Cataphract. One. He's only got one of his median cavalry left as well. So not too bad. Tylus didn't do a horrible job here with this. With this I mean, he was defending against basically three factions, though. So, you know, cut the guy a break a little bit. He's got some Osworn up here on the front line, cutting into some more of the light infantry. Second unit of the Eastern Cataphract have charged in again. Noble Horse General coming around. He's up to 80 kills, so he's starting to get some good kills now. They're actually charging in onto the Royal Cataphract General. And heavy melee is definitely going to beat super heavy shot cavalry, at least in extended melee combat. You can see right there that melee defense for the cataphract general only 23. Melee defense there 46 for the noble general. Let's see what's going on inside the settlement. Carthage and Iceni still moving units around. Looks like actually Arvaki's kind of switched his lines around a little bit. Some mercenary Iberian swordsmen making their way forward. This could be a bit of a trap, though. Hopefully, he does not continue going in that direction. Just leave them there. Let them keep an eye out. See what's going on. Masesli actually came all the way back over. He did have one final unit still sitting back over there. He has made his way back over here. He's going to break another unit of the Levy Freeman. This unit here with 133 kills. Very well done so far. By medium shock cavalry, very well done so far. Unit of Chosen Sword Band just kind of sitting there for Iceni. But it does look like, for the most part, this Sally Out Vanguard deployment has been taken care of. Let's see what all Tylus has lost. 10 out of that unit. This unit's lost a ton. A lot of damage done to a decent amount of his units. But it is still Tylus at the end of the day. Their tribal warriors are pretty awesome. So also with the units of Osworn, we'll have to see what they're going to be able to do. But it does look like Parthia will be returning back inside the settlement. Only returning with his general. And the... Oh no, his general's dead. Parthian general is dead. Ooh, that's big. That could be huge. That could be huge, but still huge over here. Again, Mesesli is still just racking up kills against these Celtic Slingers. Let's see what he's up to now. 182 kills. Infantry now finally turning around, but I think this other unit's not going to be around very long. Maybe they'll kill. Maybe this. Nope, they're routing. They're starting to waver. Osworn making their way over. Tribal Warriors starting to make their way over. So I think this last final unit here, 205 kills. Great job. Really great job. Medium shot cavalry. Very well done there. But like I said, Parthia has now pulled back inside the settlement. We do have Carthage and pretty much all of Iceni inside the settlement as well. Aside of the one unit of sword band making their way in. And that chosen sword band is still sitting back. Oh no, they're moving. Here they come. They are moving now. We do have some of the Cretan archers moving up there for Carthage. Here comes the uh, Noble Cavalry General for Arvaki. Is he going to come around and get a charge in? Looks like that's where he's going. Another charge coming in onto some mercenary Iberian swordsmen, which, oh, that is rough. Iberian swordsmen are pretty good because they have that precursor. 
but their armor is only 15, so pretty rough. And here they come, going to charge in even more, getting a little bit into these creep archers. But here comes the Noble Calf General, four cards, and she's going to get in there. What do we have? We have very heavy melee against very heavy shock. So Noble Cav, Jen, you better get out of there. Your melee defense is only 14. You will eventually start getting cut down. Looks like he is going to try and retreat and pull away. But these other two units of archers still here. Ooh, elephants. Hear that heavy, heavy step of elephants slowly making their way forward. Being met with some more of the Libyan infantry there. Carthage, keep moving units up. Gotta keep moving stuff up. If you want to have success, 23 minutes left in the battle replay. Cecilian General all the way back over here. Parthia with his final units of cavalry there. Is Tylus, what is Tylus doing? Looks like Tylus is just going to come in behind where Iceni and Carthage moved in. Not a bad idea. Definitely not a bad idea. Some Desert Legionnaires there for Cecily making their way around. Iceni better watch out. Iceni better be careful. Iceni, you better be careful, man. Alright, what do we have here? We have some Chosen Sword Band moving towards some of these Skutari. We're starting to volley over there with some of their Javelins. Getting some good kills in onto this Chosen Sword Band as they're trying desperately to charge in. Finally making contact to the Javelin should stop for a moment, but nope. We got Slingers back here, Mesaceline Slingers, the Tribal Slingers, and the Balearic Slingers there for Avraki. Getting some really good follies in onto the side of this Chosen Swordband unit. Probably hitting some of the regular Swordband unit as well. But I see he's still pressing in. Tylus, is, Tylus needs to move. Is he running? Yeah, they are moving fast, but they're all going to be exhausted. Elephants making their way ooh, into some of the Iberian sword, Spearmen there. That unit is being destroyed. But speaking of destroyed, this mercenary Skatari killing, murdering two of these elephants with relative ease. And here comes the elite Persian archers in onto the elephants. They're out of control. Oh, and they're going the wrong way. I, I, Libyan infantry, launch out. You can get stomped. All right, elephants turned around. Look like they're heading in the correct direction now if you are rooting for the attackers. Are they going to make it in onto these Qutari? Yes, they are, but they're still just getting slaughtered. Unfortunately, 71 kills, and they are gone. Oh, man. I like the aggressive behavior there, Carthage. It was, it was good, but... Oh, no! No, no, no! Carthage General over here got outflanked by some Qutari, and he is on his way out. Down to 19 men, but here we go. Some Samnite Warriors going to come over try and save the General. I think the general is still alive. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything that's saying the general is dead for Carthage. Wow, that was huge. Get him out of there. Pull this general all the way back. Get him behind your own men. Get some more infantry up here as well, dude. You got a lot of Libyan infantry back there. Get the general out of there. Get the general out of there. Go, 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 go. Run, just run away. Just run away. Just run away. All right, let's see what's going back over on this side. Tylus is now breaching through the walls. Got one final unit on the tri on a tribal warriors up on this tower. Looks like he's just going to try and get a unit up on there anyway. Let's get into some of the fighting on this side. Iceni taking on two units of the Skutari with one unit of Chosen Swordsman there. Some Parthian Swordsman here holding back a unit of Chosen Swordsman there. Looks like currently the Chosen Swordsman might end up starting to edge this battle out in their favor. Some more infantry. What do we got? We got some um, more chosen sword band here, but oh no! Wait, never mind. Never mind. Chilus is here. Oh, sworn! But oh no! They're getting. They are losing. Javelin volleys coming from the, these Parthian swordsmen there. Oh, sworn are just getting cut down. Desert legionnaires came in with a good flank charge in onto some of these chosen sword band and the Oh, sworn there. Oh, sworn are just getting beaten down. Tribal warriors, though, they are on the path to victory. At least in this little area here, we have some of the Celtic Slingers, actually. Tyler, some Celtic Slingers up on the wall there. Good job there. More Tribal Slingers for them, making their way around. 
see how Carthage's press is going. Not looking very good. Libyan infantry there. He's finally getting rid of that one unit of Scutari, though. It looks like they're going to be victorious there. Did he... Did he act, oh, no, the Titus General charging in onto African pikemen who do not have their pikes down, and he's just going to break right... Oh, no, no, never mind. That's an attacker. Ha, 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 ha. Ha, ha. I got so excited from all of the cavalry charges in the beginning. Gotta remember the borders, Joe. Gotta remember the borders. Red borders are attackers. But I see any here. Yeah, unit chosen sword band. Unfortunately, only 57, 59 kills, but they, they have broken. So this side over here, not looking too good. The Osworn are... Actually, Osworn's still here. This unit there with 50 men still. Like 88 kills. This Oh, there's the tribe. There's the tribe. There, there, there. Tribal warriors came over here. Taking on these Parthian swordsmen, just cutting them down pretty easily. Pretty easily there so far. The second unit of tribal warriors have made their way up onto the wall. But Masasely sending some of his desert legionnaires on over here. Looks like Tylus is going to try and run them away. But Masasely with, with the tribal slingers there getting some really good volleys. This unit down to 96 men left. 93 men left now with 131 kills though. More Iceni troops making their way around some more of the Chosen Sword Band. Let's see how Carthage is doing. Still pretty difficult over here. Same Night Warriors, Libyan Infantry having a difficult time trying to break through this unit of Parthian swordsmen. Carthage, you gotta move up, bud. Oh, 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 never mind. Never mind. He's got some Libyan Infantry along with some Italian swordsmen making their way around over here. Noble Cav Gen for Arvaki is actually down to 37 men left. Is his general still alive? Yeah, it does not look like he is dead. Shoot back over here. We're just going to keep an eye on this battle so far. What's going on on this side? So let's zoom in a little bit closer. There we go. Let's get into the fight, Joe. Into the fight. Like I said, guys, back at the beginning of the replay there. If you guys are enjoying this battle, please make sure to hit that like button. Feel free to subscribe, share it around, and drop a comment down below. Let me know what you guys thought of the battle. Just getting over 3,000 subscribers, guys. Thank you guys so much for the continued support. Father, Look like Carthage is starting to have a little bit. Yeah, he's kind of. Oh no, this unit. This unit's starting to lose. They send in. Oh, they sent in another unit of Iberian swordsmen. Okay, Parthian general on the move. Iberian swordsmen uh, and the, uh, oh, sorry, Italian swordsmen and the Libyan infantry making their way around. Don't know if you should do that though, but you're going to leave your back open for these noble cav. Might not want to do that. Mercenary Samnite warriors still having a hell of a time. Actually, that unit of Libyan infantry is now broken. 85 kills, 10 men left in the unit. Mercenary Samnite warriors doing the best they can though. Need to send up more infantry. Get another Samnite warrior in there or, or, or something. Libyan infantry, get something forward. Over here, though, still having a very difficult time trying to break through this side. Tylus is actually through over here, though. We've got Osworn and Tribal Warrior unit making their way down. Going to take on some more Desert Legionnaires. This actually might be a pretty even fight if this Tribal Warrior unit gets in there to help these Osworn out, which that is where they are going. Okay, good. Might be a pretty even fight. Nope, never mind. No, man, more cavalry charges. Eastern Counterfracts coming in with a huge charge in on the side of these tribal warriors. Damn. Yep, tribal warriors are on their way out, along with the Osworn. Both units being broken since the Counterfracts came in. Median cavalry again coming in, gonna help. Just get some more kills for them. Only 15 kills so far for them. Probably wants to get some more, but here comes Tylus. These guys are all great. Okay, so they're all fresh again. They all did get some rest. That is good to see. Let's see how Carthage is still fair. Oh, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. You got a unit of Libyan infantry around the back charging in onto two units of painted ones. That is going to be a rough fight for a single unit of Libyan infantry. Might want to try and get some more guys up here.
bringing anybody else. Yep, yes he is. He's got another line of Libyan infantry. Oh, these are Sam Knights. Okay. No, that's the Libyan infantry. That's the Sam Knights. So the second unit of Sam Knights have now come in and to try the, the the first unit of Sam Knight warriors that were there against these Skutari and the Parthian swordsmen. We still, again, have Rocky General over there. Not 18 men left, though. Only 18 men left, but oh, Tylus General did get around into the back lines. Little bit of payback on the charges, and look at that. These two units for the defenders immediately wavering as soon as the general makes contact. Great job there. Really well done with his general, and it does look like actually, nope, the attackers have gotten pretty decent, pretty decent ground inside the settlement. Looks like we have a bit of a retreat back towards the town center, which I did say just before. I want to say it again. That right there is the town center on the settlement here of Carolus. Chosen, uh, no, the heroic nobles, actually. Wow, 123 kills. They are frontline infantry here, charging up into a pretty much a full unit of Scutari. There they go. The slingers back there, Persian archers, definitely helping it out, breaking them down pretty easily. Uh, we have some more painted ones over here, but they are being chased by the Noble Horse General. This could definitely be a bait, though. Valeric Slingers up on the wall, only seven kills. General unit stopping. No, is he stop? I don't know what he's doing. He definitely does not want to keep going down that road, though. Yeah, pull back. Slingers up on the wall there. You definitely want to make your, make your way out of there. All right, so it does look like we're going to come down to a town defense. And if we look at the balance of power, it's a little bit in favor of the defenders currently. A little bit in favor. I think that's just because they have a little bit more cavalry left. And with the, uh, what do they still have? Mercenary hoplites. They don't have any pikes. Ooh, actually, the defenders don't have any pikes. The attackers do. He's got that one unit of, where'd they go? There they are. One unit there of African pikemen. That could come in huge. Absolutely gigantic. The Sicilian general is pulling away again. Where'd the Arvaki general go? Is he dead? I believe the Arvaki general unit. Yeah, he's dead. But I'm pretty sure his whole entire general's bodyguard unit is now broken, which he is. The attacker's just going in, though. Sending in some broken, beaten-up units of Chosen Sword Band. Charging in onto a unit of the Mercenary Hoplites, which these guys are really good. Just take a look at some of their stats. 34, 26, 72, and 75. Pretty solid units, these Mercenary Hoplites there. Here we have some more Chosen Sword Band. They are going to start getting picked off by the units up on the wall there. Javelin Volley in onto the flank. Actually, good job. Javelin Volley in onto the flank of the Mercenary Hoplites, but again... Arvaki with some more Iberian swordsmen coming in, cutting off that javelin volley at one. Those guys only got one volley off. Iceni is just shuttling troops in here. Just gang rushing these guys. Chosen swords, chosen swords, chosen swords, heroic nobles. He might want to wait for his allies a little bit. I mean, Carthage still has a decent amount of infantry left, but Iceni had a lot left. Iceni had a decent amount left back over here, but he's just going in. Tylus is actually playing around on this side. Looks like they're trying to chase. I don't know why they're trying to chase down the cavalry on this side. They should just pay no mind. Ooh, good javelin volley. They really shouldn't be paying very much mind. I mean, if they're going to catch them, they're going to catch them. Eastern cataphracts over on this side. Look like they're going to be left to die. 22 men left in the unit. 111. I'm sorry, only 76 kills. But yeah, these, tri these uh, tribal warriors are going to make their way around. The one tribal warrior unit would be able to finish these guys off. These other two, get back over to the front line right now. Get back over there. Nine minutes, 33 seconds left. And Asini looks like he's just shooting his load here. He is just bringing everybody forward, getting a bunch of javelin volleys off. Why are you guys hopping up and down? What'd you break? What'd you do? What did you do? You lost the unit of Chosen Sword Man. Why are you so happy? More of your friends and brothers have died. Scutari coming out. Oh no, there's Legionnaires coming out. The unit of the Tribal Warriors here. Only, oh, there was only eight left. Never mind. 
But it does look like the defenders are doing a pretty solid job having the archers and slingers up on the walls here. Getting some really great volleys down onto these units as they're making their way forward. Those are some of the Druidic Nobles, I believe, there. Yep, Druidic Nobles making their way forward. Tylus is actually using losing a, a Tribal Warrior unit on that side. Taking on some Painted Warriors, but I think that unit of Painted Warriors is probably going to have a bad day. Yep, Libyan Peltas, big volley in onto the side of them. But don't, I mean, Painted warrior, painted ones, I'm uh, sorry, Painted Warriors, they do have a pretty good armor rating. Their armor rating is 45. It's actually not too bad for a unit that you would think didn't. They are a medium melee infantry. The Tylus General's unit is not looking good. Actually, Tylus just lost his general. Oh, no. Yeah, see these tribal warriors over here on this side? Zero reason for these guys to be over here. That is your objective, boys. Straight up that road right there. Libyan Infantry and Sam Knight Warriors starting to line up here for Carthage. Here comes the problem. So, African Pikemen. Let's take a look and see what the archers still have. 104. Zero. This unit has zero. Oh, no. Got these guys. 118. Seven. Twelve. Nine. Oh, my God. Zero. They still have so much ammo back here. This is going to be rough. Actually, Masasely General out here. What is he doing? He's just riding around. Out there, I guess maybe just getting some more free kills. 111 kills so far for him. But yeah, this 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 is pretty defensive. This point right here is pretty defensible. like more and more of the attacking armies are backing off or no sorry that was a unit of desert legionnaires that had wrapped around they're going to come in and cut off another unit of tribal warriors as they're trying to make their way up oh tribal warriors tribal warriors tribal warriors are all of the osworn gone that is pretty rough celtic slingers up on the wall there 42 kills but they are starting to waver and that unit right there tribal warriors didn't even make it anywhere near the front line just the ranged up on the walls there did a fantastic job breaking them down. Come some more Carthage units. It says friends are all routing now. Still in favor. Balance of power is still showing in favor for the attackers though. If I'm reading that right, yellow is yellow. Still reading favor of the attackers. Let's see what they can do. Let's see what they can do. Five minutes, 38 seconds left. Actually, it looks like the defenders... Oh, they're reforming their lines. Brought up another unit of the mercenary hoplites there. And here we go. Some more tribal warriors making their way in. Getting a bit of a charge. Actually breaking around and in some of these desert legionnaires as well. Where are their ranged? Carthage, Carthage, Carthage. Where are your Cretan archers? Oh, no. Where are his Cre... Oh, no. Carthage doesn't have any Cretan archers left. Oh, that's not good. What do we still have? Libyan Peltas and a really, really beaten up unit of Tribal Slingers. They are starting to volley, though. Starting to move the defenders back a bit. Starting to break some of them. Got a unit of Scutari there running away, but two more units there. Actually, really broken units. Really, really damaged units here. Desert Legionnaires coming up. Going to try and hold the front lines here with these mercenary hoplites of Parthia. Here comes the Tylus General trying to hit that gap. And it looks like he has been kind of successful with the Parthian General right there. Desert Legionnaires are going to pull off combat and finish off this unit. Yeah, Noble Horse General is going to be on his way. There he goes. He's starting to waver. More infantry. Tribal Warriors coming up. Come on. Come on. Where are those pikemen? They're way back. Okay. Okay, spear band all the way around on this side. I'm not sure exactly where I see he's going with his spear band. This is a one way in, one way out type of scenario here. This is a one entrance inner sanctum. Here comes some of the veteran riders for I see. Looks like they're just going to try and come up, get some good kills. Desert Legionnaires, unfortunately, out of position. Getting now hammered into by the desert by the uh, veteran riders. 
Virian Swordsman coming up and Libyan Peltas. So there goes that Legionnaire unit, 127 kills for them. Down to 3 minutes, 40 seconds left. But here we go, the attackers now just full press now. A lot of Archer Fire and Slingers though. Three units of Balearic Slingers back here. 125, 16, and 72. Some more elite Persian Archers here, 117 kills. They may be out of ammunition, but don't forget, there's, there's still these units over here, 7, 48, and 27. We got these Slingers here actually coming back up on the, on the wall again, 19 and 9. So still a decent amount of ranged for the defenders. Pikes, African Pikes are now moving in. Okay. This could be the beginning of the good or the bad for these Pikes, for the uh, attackers. Get these Pikes involved in melee right now. Push them in. You have to push them in right now. They're going to get slaughtered. Please don't run them away. Okay, good. He didn't run them away at least. Good. Get them in there. Pikes down. Stick them in. Come on. Those veteran riders are just getting cut up. Actually, the heroic rider general for Iceni as well. So it looks like the attacker, yeah, they're just going all out. They are just trying to hit this as hard as they can to try and break through somewhere to be able to make it into this town center. Here comes some more Desert Legionnaires. You know the Desert Legionnaires coming in on the flank, but they are actually going to get stopped by the pikes. Pikes are stretched out in a full line, stopping that Legionnaire unit. Pikes need to move up again. They're just sitting there. Got to pull. Oh no! No, the African pikeman unit has now shattered. 50 kills. Oh, Samurai warriors charging in. Libyan infantry, Libyan infantry, Libyan infantry, and some mercenary Iberian swordsmen. What else do they have? They got some spear band making their way over here. But can, here comes the Mesaslian general again. He's coming around. Where is he going to go? Is he going to try and get a rear charge? Yep. He's going to try and get a rear charge in onto this spear band unit. Yep, here he comes. Good charge. Didn't really get that great of a look at it, but it was a pretty good charge. Starting to waver them. 45 seconds left. Don't think the attackers are going to make it through. That pike unit didn't break. That might have actually been something to look forward to there. I think the Mesaisley just, just lost his general there, I think. Pretty sure he did. But there you go. Attackers have been pushed off. Defense has been victorious. Very fun fight. I liked it. The vanguard, the sally out, everything. Bodies kind of strewn around. Let's just check back over on this side. Yeah, look at the amount. Bodies all back around over here. Scattered around, scattered around. Tylus's originally sta original stance, though. Look at the destruction that happened over here on Tylus's side where they were attacking. Wow. Great job. Great replay. Masesa Lee here, commanded by Rampa. He's actually the guy that sent the replay in. So, Rampa, thank you very much for this awesome replay. Uh, his general 126 kills. Actually, his cavalry doing pretty well. 208, 100. Very good job with those two units. Slingers here didn't really get a whole lot of opportunity to start firing. They started firing there at the end, but they weren't very. They weren't really needed. Legionnaires 139, 115, and his light infantry vanguard force 159, 100, uh, 115. So not a whole lot of kills, but they did what they needed to do. They slowed Tylus up. Arvaki here with Mad Mac, his general 117 kills, his slingers, great job though, 173, 139, 182. Gorillas, not a whole lot, but again, just helped uh, Masesli out with holding Tylus back, getting, killing, breaking down some of Tylus' numbers, I should say. Uh, let's see, 156 on some Skutare, 88, 81, 80, 92, I'm sorry, 93, 82, not too bad. 
Then we have Parthia here. He's general 39 kills. Eastern Cataphract 77, 72. Median cavalry 85, 109. His archer's doing pretty well, 127, 144. Hoplites, they held for a very long time. They didn't get a whole lot of kills, but again, like I've said in a lot of replays, hoplites aren't spears, not supposed to get a whole lot of kills. Sometimes you get lucky, and they do, but their job is to hold, which they definitely did there. Uh, Parthian swordsman, top unit there, 76. Let's get into the attackers here. Carthage with his general, 21 kills. The elephants, unfortunately, they just got, they just got shot from the flank. They got a lot of javelins in them, so only 78 kills so for them. Cretan archers just got run over. I guess I missed that. The Cretan archers did get murdered, though. African pikemen, we saw them get there, just get completely skewered by the slingers and archers. Libyan infantry, 124, 127, 135, uh, 139, 85. Iberian swordsmen, not a whole lot. Actually, this unit here, 167 kills. Pretty good job there with them. And one Samnite warrior there with 143 kills. Then we're getting into Tylus here with Morgan Sowerby. His general, 269 kills. Solid noble horse general right there. But his slingers, unfortunately, not a whole lot. Osworn, 266, 110. His levy freeman, not, uh, nothing really. Thracian warriors, almost 100 kills. Good job. Trevor warriors here, 136, 146, 162, 120, 165, 98, 82. Pretty solid job there with his tribal warriors. Then finally, we have Iceni, who just didn't really seem like he was able to get off his... Uh, Get off his get get going get going I should say his heroic rider general only unfortunately only 66 kills Scorp Scorpion crew got wrecked all three of his slingers really didn't yeah I think he only had one unit of slingers make it inside the settlement two of them not even a single kill so pretty rough there chosen sword band top kill there we have 61 89 then we get into a heroic nobles 39 there heroic nobles 128 71 and his other three units of sword band not a whole lot but all right guys. That is the battle replay here for today. Hope you guys did enjoy. Like I've said, feel free to hit that like button. Feel free to drop a comment down below. Subscribe and share the channel around, guys. Share the video around. I would appreciate that deeply. Thank you guys so much for the continued support. Like I said earlier, over 3,000 subscribers. Absolutely fantastic. Great road so far. Cannot wait to see what comes in the future. But all right, guys, have a good rest of your day. Stay safe. And as always, until the next one.